Hello guys, in this video we'll discuss a problem related to a kinematics of particle which could be solved by using a normal and tangential coordinate system. So the equation stated that a small particle starts from a point or with a negligible speed and then increases its speed to a value v is equal to standard radical to gy, where y is the vertical drop from a point O. And then when x equals to 50 feet, determine the end components of the acceleration of the particle. So this is the equation. So in this video, we'll discuss a detailed part about how we could apply normal tangential coordinate system for solving such types of problem. Now, for solving this uh, problem, we have to know the concepts of uh, the normal acceleration related to the velocity and then a radius of curvature. Let's see how the particle is traveling through this way. Now the way or the particle's path is defined with the functions of x that means y is equal to a function of x and it is x over 20 the whole square. So this is the path of uh, the particle. Once the particle starts from a rest or with a negligible zero velocity from point O now at x equals to 50 feet, simply we can substitute the value of x at the functions of y. So we will get the y coordinate system. That means y is equals to 50 over 20 the whole square and then it will become 6.25 feet. That means this question asks us to evaluate the normal accelerations of the velocity at this coordinate point. At, that means at x equals to 50 feet and then y is equals to 6.25 feet. Now for evaluating this, let's state the uh, given part first. That means from the given part, we know that the initial velocity is 0 and then the y position is given as x over 20 the whole square and then the velocity is given at the functions of gravity and y. That means under radical to gy. So the required part is here for evaluating the normal acceleration when the particle reaches at x is equals to 50 feet. Now for solving this problem, we could use the normal acceleration principle with related to normal and tangential coordinate system. That means normal acceleration is equals to velocity squared at that position over radius of curvature at that position. So for evaluating this, first we have to know the velocity and then the radius of curvature. For evaluating the velocity first, let's just calculate the value of y which is normally calculated from the uh, graph it's shown here or we can simply use this formula so y at x equals to 50 feet is equals to x over 20 uh, the whole square that means x is 50 50 over 2 and the whole square and then it will become 6.25 feet now we know the value of the gravity so substituting the value of gravity and y at the velocity equation, simply we could get that the velocity will become 20 feet per second. Now once we have that, the only unknown parameter for evaluating the normal acceleration is the radius of curvature. Now let's evaluate this radius of curvature. Now from different calculations, you could get that the radius of curvature have the governing equation for any function that is as a function of position x is stated here that means radius of curvature is equals to 1 plus dy by dx the whole square and then the whole cubed and the radical over the square y by dx square now for evaluating this first let's just derivate the functions of y with respect to x so dy by dx is equals to d by dx of x over 2 and the whole square and then finally it will be just the derivations of this function with respect to x. If you uh, derivate this one, you'll get x over 200. It's simple. Now, once you get this, let's just further derivate this one to get d square y by dx square, and then it will become x over 200. That means 0 0.005. Now, once we have this, let's substitute the numerical values of dy by dx and d square y by dx square at x equals to 50 feet now when you substitute that for the first one y by dx which is x is 50 if you substitute x over 200 
then finally you'll get 0 0.25 and then the square y by dx square it's a constant so it's not depend on the functions of x so it will be as it is and then it will be 0 0.005 once we have this we are now able to calculate the radius of curvature so rho will be just substituting the numerical values here and then finally you'll get 240 feet now we are ready just for evaluating the final normal accelerations at the given point now at this stage we could evaluate the required parameters here now the normal acceleration is v square over rho just tuning square over 200 and then it will become 1.67 feet per second square so this is our final answer for the normal acceleration at x equals to 50. thank you guys for watching us please subscribe our youtube channel we will present you different interesting videos